Imagine you move from a place where you live all your life. Imagine you move and you leave all your children and wife. Starting all over again, but no one you know is around. Well, they didn't have to imagine. They built it up from the ground. How does it sound? It's not easy because it isn't. Could have praised them, but it didn't. But the ray bond, that's a winner. And they ran straight to the finish. You get to know them up close and personal. Wait, just give me a minute. Welcome to the front row. Can I get a drum roll? Intentional, intentional, we may be immigrants, but we are still intentional. We are dependable, it's just that set the bar, but still a festival. We are intentional. The wind is nice and mild. The sky is blue with a fluttering of clouds. It's beautiful outdoors. I am recording this podcast from the Sinai and the Sinai is where there is a river. People are in the river either fishing, canoeing or just walking around in the river. Or I can see parents and children enjoying the weather. It looks so much fun. I am at a park and why am I doing all of this or why am I here? Welcome to the Intentional Immigrants podcast and YouTube channel. I'm happy that you're able to join me here today. My name is Yolanda Jack and in my last blog post, I spoke about some activities that you could do with your child or children throughout the summer holidays. Now, school is out and for a lot of parents, this is a pain point. There are two complaints that you usually hear from children throughout the summer. One is, Mom, I'm hungry. What's there to eat? Or the second is, Mom, I'm bored. So let's see what you can do to fix the second problem. The first one is not a big problem. You just give them something to eat. The second one is, takes a little bit more creativity and ingenuity. So in my blog post, I wrote about some activities that you can do throughout the summer with your child or your children. You can find the blog at www.intentionalimmigrants.com. So intentional immigrant is one word. In addition, I have a free item that you can use you can avail yourself of it's an infographic so just subscribe to the website and you will be able to one get my latest blog post and two see whatever else is happening there as well as the free infographic all right so one of the first things i want to tell you or talk about is the importance of reading now, there's a saying that reading make it the man. It's important that your child or your children learn to read. This is one skill that they will have throughout their lives. And this is one skill that they are going to be thanking you for as long as they live. Teach your child or children to read. Go to your local library. Borrow some books for them to read over the summer. All right. So that's one thing you can do. Find out as well while you're there, find out if your library has any programs that they're offering for the summer. I know that my local library here has a reading body program along with other programs that they have throughout the summer. Take your child or children to the library if you have not already created an account. Create an account and have your child sign up for their library card. And that way, they are able to do their reading for the summer. All right, some libraries do offer additional programs that you can sign up for. I know that when my kids were younger and we were still in Jamaica, they usually go to the Tom Redcomb Summer Program. I don't know if it's still being offered, but that's something for those in Jamaica, that's something that you can check into. All right, so that's your library for you. The second thing that you can do is just go on a bus tour or a bus ride, especially for children who do not usually ride the bus. This is a fun educational activity that you can do with your child or children. Another thing that you can do with your child or children is to garden. Plant some vegetables that, you know, they are easy to come. They don't take long to reap 
So you can teach your child or your children about planting and when it's reaping time, believe me, that smell that you see will be priceless. Another thing that you can do with your child or children throughout the summer is that of camping. So whether you want to camp indoors, like in your living room, get all your chairs together and get some sheets and just spread them over the chair and there you go, you have a little tent. Especially when your child or children are younger, they usually enjoy sleeping everywhere else except in their beds. That's one way you can create memories with your child or your children. And if you do have a tent, then you can do sleep outdoors under the stars. You can teach them about the galaxies and you can create a fun family night. So that's another thing that you can do with your child or children. So there we have it. We have reading, gardening, taking a bus tour. Another thing that you can do is just pretend that you're a tourist. It's the first time you're coming into your community. You're seeing it with new eyes. Sometimes we live in a community and we don't know everywhere in that community. For instance, last year, I went to get my car serviced. And while it was being serviced, I went for a walk around the community where the mechanic shop was located. And while there, I found a cemetery, a cemetery in the middle of a community. Now, I didn't know that that existed before, but just by venturing out, I was able to see that something else existed there. So that was new to me. Oh. Pretend that you're a tourist, take your child or your children out and just enjoy what's there in your community to enjoy. Another thing you can do is to go on trails or go on walks. Find places in your communities that are safe and you can go for a walk with your child or your children. Just go on a trip around your community find the landmarks that are there find out who lived in your community before you did and what are some famous places or famous people who lived in your community so those are some of the activities that you can do with your child or your children throughout the summer you can also take them out into the country or out into a more rural area and they will have fun. When I was in Jamaica as well, every year without fail, uh, my girls and I would go on a one-week vacation and we would go to the country area. We would spend one week there, they would go to the farm and they would see the animals, they would do fun activities and they really, really enjoyed that activity. In fact, my brother-in-law usually do roast yam roast yam with saltfish and the kids enjoy those memories so those are some of the tips that you can do throughout this holiday as you spend time with your child or children another thing don't let the schoolwork fall behind so what i would recommend is that you spend some time and have your child do some reading throughout the summer when my children were younger i was a firm believer in having them do some schoolwork during the summer. Now, it doesn't have to be long, half an hour, that's all you're asking, half an hour. Things done consistently will be beneficial. So you don't have to spend a long time, they don't have to spend the whole day, they don't have to spend the whole day doing the work. But at least 15, 20, 30 minutes every day, you have them do some work. That way, when they go back to school, they won't fall behind. They'll be on par with their peers. All right? So make the summer interesting, educational for your children. These are the times in their lives that you get to create memories. Make those memories memorable. Okay? Those are some of the ways that you can create fun memories with your child or your children throughout the summer. So coming to you from outdoors, you may hear the wind. It's because I'm outdoor. Oh, just reminding you, the Intentional Immigrant 
podcast can be found on Podbean, Spotify, Stitcher, as well as YouTube. So I want to thank Xavier Anderson for providing the music. And as usual, I'm your host, Yolanda Jack, reminding you, he who watches the wind will not sow. He who watches the clouds will not reap. Ecclesiastes 11 and verse 4. You were born for greatness. Step out into your greatness so that mankind can benefit from you being here. So long until next time. Intentional, intentional. We may be immigrants, but we are still intentional. We are dependable. It's just a set the bar, but still a festival.